Hi everyone, Andy Smith here. Thank you for watching. Uh, welcome back. I have my uh, fragrant, fra fragrance empties, um, what I've been warming. Um, so I'm just going to jump in here. I worked on my Dumbo uh, Soar High Through the Sky. Love, love, love this scent. Uh, this is what I'm hoping when they that comes back because um, I definitely want to pick up more of these bars. I don't necessarily need another brick, uh, but I want more bars. It's just a nice, like, fruity. It's a fruity scent, super strong. Love it. I finished up, actually, my custard apple. This is the last one. I enjoyed this. So I picked this up. It says July of 23. Last year they did in one of the flash sales. It was um, this custard apple. I think it came with um, sweet plum pastry. I think brownie batter. There was a couple other bars. Um, really good, like, like, um, I can't even think of what it's called. Like a bar collection um, in the... And this custard apple, honestly, I love it. I would pick up more. I've warmed through all of them and I just enjoyed it. It was um, definitely a, like a small to medium space scent, not an open concept. And it's just like a creamy, like custardy apple. So really good. That's, I would probably even club that bar if it was available. This uh, super juicy, I've continued down my Let's Warm uh, bars that are a couple of years old or more because um, they're getting juicy. And I love this scent. I'm hoping it comes back at some point. This is Moana, Spirit of Montanui, I think is how that's pronounced. It's just like a watery melon type scent. Almost like a fresh watermelon, not a candied watermelon. Excellent. I finished up the Black Tie Affair. Um, this is one. It's, I like it. It's just light. And I know some people like the light background scents. Um, and this has got like a tobacco note in it. Um, it just wasn't the strength that I wanted, that I enjoy in my home. Uh, but I also warm this in my open in my entryway and it did really well like it was it's a light like I said background kind of scent note um this was for the father's day collection I almost think this might return just because um that so many people like that so maybe we'll see that in the catalog next year cake me to paradise this is so good. Um, this is a new bar. And it is, it's kind of, it's, it, I was like, it's hard to explain for me. But it does, it's like a, it's like a very fruity, um, like summer fruity bar. I wouldn't say full on bakery, but it's a good performer. And I enjoy it while it's going. It is, um, for me, I can warn that in my open concept. Looney Tunes. Um, this is one bar I hope I get back at some point. I lost this in my club. It's a, it's just like a nice, like, it's an apple juice. And it's strong and I love it. Um, you can tell that's an older bar because it's flat. And this one was from October of 2022, but um, really good set. Like I said, super strong. You can mix it. You can do it on its own. Loved it. Um, Camu Camu and Angel Experiment 624. I like warming these together. I mix them one to one and they do really well. So Camu Camu is almost like a cantaloupe type scent to me. And then the Angel Experiment 624 is this kind of like a raspberry cotton candy scent. And those two together are really good. Evening Sky. Um, so this one, 
I loved when I first warmed it. Picked up a few bars. It's still pretty. It may just need to cure for a while. But um, I didn't think the performance I got this second time of warming it was as good as the first time. So I think I'm just going to let my other bars maybe cure and then next summer warm them. But it is a beautiful, beautiful scent on cold. It's um, This is something I would like in body care. It's um, not too feminine and it's not too masculine. It's kind of more in that neutral zone. I like it. I like the scent. Um, like I said, the throw was just not there for me. One of my all-time favorite mixes is Atlantic Air and Vanilla Waves. Neither one is available. So Atlantic Air is like a aquatic. It is. It's aquatic. Um, it almost feels like you're standing there um, next to the water. And you're getting in those breasts. And then to add Vanilla Waves with it, which is like a sea salt caramel. It's like you're standing next to a boardwalk. Oh, it's amazing. All right, um, here's another, you've already seen those too, Cake Me to Paradise and Looney Tunes. I usually have to do, um, I have six warmers in my open. So I do two cubes each, a bar and a half is what I warm. Fear. Actually, um, don't like this on its own. It's from the Inside Out collection, but it is um, grape, raspberry, and vanilla. And I, it's really good mixed with vanilla bean buttercream. So if you have this bar, because you bought the collection, mix it with that, and you'll get kind of like a blueberry dessert kind of scent almost. Plum and White Woods. I pulled this out from last year. It's so pretty. It's just really light. It's one of those scents that I had in my quarterly club and then I kept it there because I loved how it smelled on cold but I didn't want to let it go. And I'm kind of glad I did because again it's for a smaller space which I don't have. Um, so if you have a smaller bedroom that would be perfect in it. Midnight Masquerade. This was from the Mardi Gras collection. And um, I've warmed a couple other ones, maybe even three, and they were all fine. This one didn't perform very well. I don't know if it was the air conditioning that day um, or, you know, whatever. It just wasn't a good performer. So I was a little disappointed in that. Lush Gardenia. This will always be a good performer. It's powerhouse scent. Um, it's just a, a white gardenia, strong flower. And um, I don't know. I like it. I really do. But um, if you need to tone it down, just throw in some different scents to tone that down a little. Cotton Candy Tails. I love, love, love the scent. So it is... Oh... It is, a, to me, it's like being at the fair and you're watching them make the cotton candy and it's the cotton, you smell the cotton candy and you smell the burnt sugar when they're making it. It's amazing. Love it. Imagination Land. Um, so I used the rest of this up. It was light. Um, it was just like a nice pink cotton candy type scent. If it was stronger, that would be better. Let's see what else let's see I got in here. I um, warmed through this coconut vanilla orchid. It's not something I would repurchase, honestly. I got this um, in the black market, actually, with some other bars. But um, it's... You can smell it on cold, like the coconut and the vanilla, but when it's warming, I don't think it really does much. So I warmed this um, one to one in the same warmer, Province Lavender and Circle of Life. Province Lavender is our scent of the month for July. And it's just, it's a really good lavender scent. 
And then Circle of Life is kind of like a sandalwood. So I have a spray from Bath & Body Works, which you can spray like on your pillows or whatever you want, but it's, it's a lavender sandalwood. Love it. And I thought, let's try to recreate it. Didn't really recreate it, but this was nice. I would probably do this again. Churro churro. I have to say, um, this was a very light scent. And for that reason, I didn't club it. And last year's Bring Back My Bar, but this is set a whole year. And this did really well um, for me that day. So I don't know if this was a once in a lifetime thing or if you just have to let it cure for a year, but you got everything like the fried dough, the cinnamon sugar. It was amazing. Um, kind of makes me wish, because that was my very last bar. Kind of makes me wish I had more of those. That's how well it was. Tiari and Coconut. This is a 2022 bar for me to use up. It's very juicy. Um, you know, I really liked it when I bought a few of those. And then as it set over time, it's just not for me. Pink, Pineapple, and Sugar. This was my favorite from the summer collection. I think that's still available. It is. It's like a... It's good. It's a pink sugar almost with a pineapple. It's just a good summer fragrance and it performs for me. I like it. Sea Breeze. So that was from, um, I think this is available, the Puerto Rico collection with the warmer. And this one's just not for me. I don't know, there's a note in here that I don't like. It's aquatic with some kind of orange. It almost reminds me of like a liquor type scent. I don't know if you get that or not in that bar. Got a couple more scentsies to go through. I have um, Sun Ripen Berry that I worked on. This was a 2022 bar too. It's just a nice, um, you know, bowl of fruit. It was really, I loved that. That was a scent of the month. There's two of those. And then Coconut Citrus Parfait. I did not like this scent, but I had a few cubes to use up from Bring Back My Bar. Um, just not a scent for me at all. And I think that's it for Scentsy. Um, so thank you all for watching. I'll catch you on my next one.